round is like any other interviewing round for 60 minutes okay and in this 60 minutes first 20 minutes are divided for system design the first round will be carrot round second will be ds then third will be led then fourth will be for this 20 minutes he said that he is gonna ask some basic questions to me and all these questions are related to computer science fundamentals the question and giving you like two hours like 1.5 hours to code everything okay and the question is usually big so just click the run button in the first go uh, the interviewer has sometimes a bad impression that you know you are running a buggy hey everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to talk about my interview process at a clash in so i recently cracked the clash in and the process was very interesting and smooth so this ko nahi pata atlassian is a product based company which has products like confluence and jira which are widely used and are enterprise products so sabse pehli cheez pe aate hain ki how did i apply so 6 months pehle maine referral ke through apply kiya tha and after 6 months a recruiter reached out to me and told me that you know i seem suitable for one of the roles and let's just go ahead with the interviews so usne mere ko bataya ki there will be 6 round of interviews the first round will be carrot round the second will be ds the third will be led the fourth will be hld then fifth will be values round and finally sixth will be managerial round and all of the rounds are kind of elimination if i don't perform well i will get eliminated from the procedure now the thing that comes is what is carrot round so carrot is a third party company which conducts screening round for multiple companies and atlassian uses carrot for their screening round अब क्वेश्चन आता है कि क्या कैरेट राउंड डिफिकल्ट होता है यस फॉर मी कैरेट राउंड वाज एक्चुअली डिफिकल्ट एंड इट्स वेरी प्रेशराइजिंग तो कैरेट राउंड इज लाइक एनी अदर इंटरव्यूइंग राउंड फॉर 60 मिनट्स ओके एंड इन दिस 60 मिनट्स फर्स्ट 20 मिनट्स आर डिवाइडेड फॉर सिस्टम डिजाइन लाइक एचएलडी एंड रेस्ट 40 मिनट्स आर फॉर डीएस तो इस 20 मिनट्स में यू नीड टू आंसर फाइव क्वेश्चंस ओके व्हिच आर रैंडम फाइव क्वेश्चंस ऑफ सिस्टम डिजाइन देयर विल बी प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट गिवन टू यू so you have to discuss with the interviewer tell its solution and finally once you have done that for rest 40 minutes you need to solve two ds questions so is round ki cut off kya hai so i believe ki iski rough cut off ye hai ki agar first 20 minutes mein you will be able to solve three question out of five and rest 40 minutes mein if you will be able to solve like one and a half questions you will be selected so this round bahut zyada pressurizing hota hai within 60 minutes you have to like answer first five questions of system design then you know solve two questions of ds so it's a time pressure round i won't say the ds questions are very difficult they are like basic questions and also like system design questions are also not very difficult they are also basic but the thing is the time pressure so agar tumhara first attempt mein round clear nahi hota hai to atlassian gives you second attempt as well so it's kind of a screening round if you clear this then only you will be able to interview for atlassian so my experience in this round is my system design part went very well and coding part was average out of two questions i was able to solve one and a half but i thought like i could have done both two questions because they were quite easy so i cleared this round in the first attempt and it was told me that we can proceed with the main rounds that is ds ld and hld first round was ds round and like any other company it was of 60 minutes we first started with the introduction and then finally like interviewer gave a question to me okay i just read the question and write some test cases confirm like if i am understanding it correctly or not once i was approved i gave a brute force solution i knew that it's a very famous question but i was not able to think the efficient approach in the first go so on on a surprise like interview told me that you know so i just go ahead with the code of this brute force approach so i coded that within like 5 to 10 minutes and uh, then i ran the code and everything worked fine then he told me that what is the efficient approach so while i was coding the brute force i just quickly realized you know this can be optimized so i quickly gave the optimized approach and he was quite satisfied he said me that you know just uh, let us code uh, this one as well so i coded that now one thing i want to point out here is as soon as you complete the code so this is the mistake i've been doing in my last interviews i just go and go ahead with the you know run button click it compile it and run the code so sometimes what happens is that there are a lot of syntax error then the code doesn't work there is some logical error so instead of just going ahead with uh, you know clicking the running button and compiling it rather just uh, you know in the first go just look at the code and try to figure out the syntax error once you have figured out the syntax error just take a small easy test case and dry run it once you have confirmed that okay then click the run button and actually see if everything works fine or not because if you just click the run button in the first go uh, the interviewer has sometimes a bad impression that you know 
you are running a buggy code i believe first round mera bahut sahi gaya and i was almost able to solve three questions within 50 minutes so i was expecting a strong higher so let's just discuss the next round that was ldd round okay so ldd round inka jo hota that is of 60 minutes and within 60 minutes you need to like write the code and also it should be running and all test cases should be passing so this this is what i was already told by the recruiter and interviewer told the same thing that he is expecting a running code okay so already like bahut pressure ho jata because ldd question is usually big okay and you have to code it like within 60 minutes so that is a lot of pressure situation so i was given a question and it felt like it's very easy question i have like uh, read it earlier and all of that so i gave the brute force solution and when i was thinking of efficient approach somehow there were some test cases which i was never able to solve okay i thought try uh, like i tried solving using graph i tried solving using tries but somehow i was not able to reach the most efficient approach and they never told me okay sail i have you know got on what you are trying to do let's just you know go with the brute force solution okay so i just coded the brute force solution and then you know he was satisfied 20 minutes were left for this 20 minutes he said that he is going to ask some basic questions to me and all these questions were related to computer science fundamentals okay they were from c++ um they were from parser they were from networking everything okay so i was not able to answer all of them like i answered well but there were few questions which i was not able to answer and i was very embarrassed because all of these questions were such that that you might have read in college but you forget like with your experience right so you don't recall them exactly what the exact answers were so that's what happened with me so i was like overall very disappointed i was thinking like i'll be rejected at this moment only but uh, that was not the case okay uh, the feedback that came was like okay but they asked me to you know give uh, do a redo for this round okay so i was very happy to give the redo because i felt you know if the question was a bit different i would have solved it so i was ready for the redo okay so before i you know discuss the redo round that i gave for early i had some realization and some tips for you which i want to give you if you have a clash in the early round so what i have observed in market is that you know early round for every company is very different so basically i can categorize them in two ways okay one is like machine coding round where they are like majorly focusing on your design skills okay they are seeing like what design patterns you have used how extensible your design is uh, are you following solid principles or not so they are giving you a very big question and giving you like 2 hours like 1.5 hours to code everything okay and the question is usually big they are like you know design elevator system design flip cart okay design parking lot questions like this but there are some companies like atlassian uh, which have a very different approach okay they pick such questions that can be solved within one hour okay and what they majorly focus on is like your algorithmic understanding okay so it's more of like if you can come up with the right algorithm then only you will be able to solve the question and then only you will be able to clear the round okay their main focus is on algorithm i'm not saying they don't consider the design but the question is such that you know you will not require to make a lot of classes like you can do the question like by making like two three classes and the main focus will be algorithm okay so when you are preparing for atlassian ldd round uh, be very careful of this okay do questions like which are more like algorithmic focused rather than you know uh, design focused so next round that uh, i had was hld round so this was the fifth round and i was given a question so i did the requirement clarification thing that i always do in all hld rounds and then wrote the uh, functional and non functional requirements and after that like i confirmed like for how many users i have to create this so i was told like i don't have to create this uh, you know uh, thing for a lot of users so i just used a basic server okay and used a sql database uh, designed erd diagrams and told the solution okay interview was quite satisfied with erd and the basic server like and the front end application it was as simple as that now he told me that you know sahil you need to scale this so then i thought of multiple things uh, like if i'm scaling this like will sql still work okay uh, should i go ahead with the sql thing because that will not work very well while i'm doing horizontal scaling was one thing in my mind okay uh, second thing is like should i uh keep the application server and database server still coupled or should i decouple it so that 
i could independently scale both of them was the second thing in my mind and third thing was like uh, should i go ahead with like uh, monolith only or should i break my service into microservices okay so these were the three major thing that uh, were in my mind i discussed uh, all of them with the interviewer and uh, according to his expectation i came up with a solution okay so i came up with the microservices solution i also had a gateway in between i had multiple uh, load balancer in different uh, parts of the um, design so the major thing was like i feel in hrds in general uh, discussing everything uh, loud okay so i told him everything that was going in my mind and i got to know like what is he expecting okay so according to that i gave a solution he was quite satisfied then he asked like few follow ups uh, like he told me that you know now you need to add this particular feature okay and based on that i had to change my schemas so initially i you know for the sql thing i draw a erd diagram and for the no sql i uh, define uh, like design different documents okay and i change them according to the follow ups and um, this round like went very smooth and i think is uh, this round was one of the major reason i was hired for atlassian because i performed very well in this one so next round were values round and managerial round and they are like equally important as technical rounds i have heard from a lot of people getting rejected in atlassian in these rounds so you don't do that mistake like take it very seriously uh, just you know follow the star yeah. method uh, for answering any question in these rounds so you can just go and read about it like what is star method okay uh, so i found these rounds very interesting like managerial discussion was very organized and you know very interesting so where i had to kind of quote a lot of instances that uh, happened where i did mistakes and all of that so just uh, when you go for managerial round just uh, prepare all this before going into this round the recruiter will guide you like how to do that so after like all these seven rounds i was told that you know i am selected for the p40 role and i was quite happy that i cleared these rounds and in fact like the process was like quite smooth like within like 2 weeks all these rounds happened and uh, i was quite happy with the result and finally like i joined at lashian watch the video till here do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon